when good times go bad. Number three. When the seven-ton dirt cement burial went bad, I thought I was going to die. Some people will do anything for a good time, especially if they're illusionists. I describe myself as an escape artist who is a stuntman and a daredevil. I'm not a magician. What you see is what you get. For example, one of Bill's more successful tricks involved getting run over by a train. And don't think this is as easy as it looks. Even professional stuntmen don't try this at home, or any place for that matter. It was a 45-ton locomotive coming at me at approximately 40 miles an hour, and I uh, had uh, three seconds from the time I decided to go down before it was gonna hit me. He made it. But for his next trick, in order to commemorate Houdini's death, Bill came very close to joining his illustrious predecessor. Well, one of the things all escape artists and stuntmen and daredevils have is an ego. And I think my ego kind of got to me. In this trick, Bill decided to escape from a buried plastic coffin with one slight catch, seven tons of cement, and only 60 seconds to escape. There's no doubt about it, the seven ton dirt cement barrel is the most dangerous stunt in the entire world simply because it's an impossible stunt. It's a suicide stunt. Bill has that right. Unfortunately, the plastic lid couldn't withstand the pressure of the cement and collapsed. Frantically, rescuers struggled to get Bill out before he ran out of air. The minute you start to have panic, you burn your oxygen supply four or five times faster than you do when you're relaxed. You have to believe in your crew. You have to believe that uh, maybe God's looking after you here. At least Bill was right about that. Someone was watching over him that day. Comatose, Bill was rushed to the hospital and amazingly regained consciousness. Not too much the worse for wear. My advice for the next guy to try it, don't do it. <laughs> 